So, let's take a look at the basic functions of the 24H Cam app. Once you've added your security cameras to the app, you'll see them all on the home page. If you don't want to receive push notifications during certain times, you can adjust the notification settings. Just tap on the setting button and add a new mode, let's call it, night. You can turn off the camera during the night for privacy, stop notifications, and even stop sharing the device. To set a schedule for the night mode, just choose the start time and the date you want it to repeat. You'll see the night mode listed there, and you can switch to it manually. Just remember to switch back to the on mode when you wake up in the morning. If you want to watch video footage saved in the cloud storage, just tap on the playback button. You can scroll through the bar to jump to different time periods, and if you tap on the alerts below, it will jump to the motion detection video. There are four kinds of motions, human, animal, car, and everything. We'll go into more detail on those later. If you want to watch footage saved on the micro SD card, just tap on the micro SD card button at the top right corner. But keep in mind that there won't be any motion categories available. Now, let's move on to the live part. By clicking on the button, you can record the video you're watching now. Click on the camera button, and you can take a picture of the live view. Click on the microphone, and you can talk with the person in front of the camera. You can also access the playback here. If you want to make more modifications to the camera, just tap on the setting button at the top right corner. To share the camera, you can simply enter the person's email. But they'll need to have their own 24H cam account, and you can give them certain access to your camera. There are three types of night vision modes, infrared night vision, motion activated color night vision, and continuous night vision when it's dark. The spotlight time means how long you want the LED light to stay on. Here, we'll choose 60 seconds. To adjust the volume, just scroll left or right. Now, let's take a look at the motion detection settings. You can adjust the motion sensitivity of the camera here. If you set it to low sensitivity, it will only detect large movements. The detection area is the area you want the camera to watch over, and you'll get fewer notifications if you set it up properly. Another great option for fewer notifications is the notification cooldown. If you tap on the three dots at the top right corner, you can rename the device and select the time zone of your location. There are two buttons below, Reset Device and Delete Device. If you choose Reset Device, the security camera will go back to factory default, but it will still belong to you. Only you can add the camera to the app again. If you choose Delete Device, the ownership of the device will be removed from your account. If you give the camera to someone else without deleting it from your account, they won't be able to use it. On the home page, tap on the Events button to see all the motion alerts. You can use the filter above to find exactly what you want, like the bedroom. The cloud section is where you can manage your subscriptions. Each camera should have its own subscription. If you tap on Me, Integration, you can link the security camera to smart assistants like Google or Alexa. In the system settings, you can change the password. The AI notifications are only available for subscribers. You can filter out notifications of certain objects, like vehicles or animals, and all other motions. However, you'll still have the video footage thanks to the 24-7 continuous recording. To get the best user experience, make sure the firmware is up to date. That's it for the basic functions of the 24H Cam app. With these features, you can easily manage your security cameras and keep your home safe and secure. Thanks for using 24H Cam.